Now here's a big embarrassment for Pakistan. The country has been put under an enhanced list by the Asia Pacific Group, an affiliate of the Financial Action Task Force, the global anti-terror funding watchdog. It comes just months ahead of the FATF plenary meet. The plenary will be held in Paris between the 18th and the 23rd of October. According to sources, Pakistan failed on 30 of 40 compliance parameters. These were for the country's legal and financial systems. Now, Pakistan also failed on 10 out of 11 effectiveness parameters for enforcing safeguards against terror financing and money laundering. And because of all of this, Imran Khan's Naya Pakistan has been placed on the enhanced blacklist, which also happens to be the lowest rung of the group's listing. Let us take a look at how this listing might impact Pakistan. Now, firstly, the blacklisting will make it tough for Pakistan to come out of the FATF grey list. Remember, Pakistan faces an FATF review in October when the anti-terror financing body will meet for its plenary. Secondly, the blacklisting will also make it very difficult for Pakistan to secure an IMF bailout. So it could come as a major setback for Pakistan's sinking economy. On to our next story, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi made a strong case for strengthening Indo-France ties in Paris. Modi, who has since departed from France, said that the friendship between the two nations is unbreakable. Prime Minister Modi also said that the new India will be defended, defined by zero corruption and ease of doing business. Let's listen in. ये जनादेश सिर्फ एक सरकार चलाने के लिए नहीं है बल्कि नए भारत के निर्माण के लिए है एक ऐसा नया भारत जिसकी समृद्ध सभ्यता और संस्कृति उस पर पूरे विश्व को गर्व हो और जो 21वीं सदी की आधुनिकता को भी लीड करें ऐसा नया भारत जिसका फोकस ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस पर भी हो और जो ईज ऑफ लिविंग की भी सुनिश्चित करने के लिए हर कदम उठाएं Earlier, Modi inaugurated a memorial in the honor of the victims of two Air India crashes at the foothills of the Mont Blanc mountain in France. Several Indians, including Dr. Homi J. Baba, who is regarded as the father of India's nuclear program, were killed. The Indian Prime Minister, who also met with French President Emmanuel Macron on the trip, has now left for the UAE. France football